crush the anti-fascist mob, the transvaluation of all values throughout the West, the invention of ever more victim groups, the spread of affirmative action programs and the relentless promotion of political correctness has led to the rise of an anti-fascist mob, tacitly supported and indirectly funded by the ruling elites this self-described mob of social justice warriors has taken upon itself the task of escalating the fight against white privilege through deliberate acts of terror directed against anyone and anything deemed racist, right-wing, fascist, reactionary, incorrigible, or unreconstructed. Such enemies of progress are physically assaulted by the anti-fascist mob their cars are burned down, their properties are vandalized, and their employers are threatened to dismiss them and ruin their careers. All the while, the police are ordered by the powers that be to stand down and not to investigate the crimes committed or persecute and punish the criminals. In view of this outrage, public anger must be aroused and there must be clamoring far and wide for the police to be unleashed and this mob beaten into submission. Now, a query again for liberalala libertarians and the stupids for liberty, who are sure to object to this demand on the ground that the police asked to crush the anti-fascist mob are state police. Question to them, do you also object on the same grounds that the police arrest murderers or rapists? Aren't these legitimate tasks performed also in a libertarian order by private police? And if the police are not allowed to do anything about this mob, isn't it okay then that the target of these attacks, namely the so-called racist right, should take the task upon itself and of giving the social justice warriors a bloody nose?